What is up, guys? It's your boy, Phonic Villain, a.k.a. James Grayson, whatever the fuck else you want to call me. I got a little quick tutorial today. Um, I'm making like a house beat intro thing or like a house beat, and I'm on the intro right now. And I need some movement momentum into like a transition into the beat. So this is a little... Uh, transition tutorial we're gonna go through some automations real quick and some um, reverse like riser risers and different tips on how to make them um, so yeah so let's get into it all right well I'm gonna just I'm gonna just show you like what we're you can make it if you with. wanna oh, wait, let me turn this back up so let's show you what I'm gonna show you what we're working with here you can make it if you wanna, if you wanna, you can make it, make it, you can take it if you wanna, if you wanna, you can take it, take it. This is the part that I'm trying to have tra be kind of like a transitional moment to give some movement into the into the beat coming in. So let's start with uh, let's start with the hats here. So what I'm gonna do with the hats is going to be one. Um, we're going to definitely pit change the pitch of it, but I think. Two might be, uh, I might put reverb on it. We might automate that too, but I need to, we'll, we'll see if we get that far or not. So, um, when you're trying to automate something, you can, I can link it to this, to my keyboard MIDI controller right here by doing, like, this is already linked to it because I had previously mapped it, but you can do this and then set this range here to 12 because this pitch range here is uh it's that's the that's a uh, a semitone right so you know you we have this sample in a sharp minor even though it's hats like don't really matter but but let's say this was like an instrument if it went up one semitone um that'd be a half step so it'd go up to b to the b key so if you wanted to go up a whole octave, which is usually the mission if you're using pitch with stuff like that, you're going to need to go up 12 semitones so that way it's a whole octave whether you pitch it all the way up or all the way down. Either way, you're still going to need it to be at 12. So just anybody that don't know about this, because this knob and this knob are different. So always remember that. Um, like you can automate this, you can create automation with this and use your knob and shit. You can't, m you can't map any controller knobs or anything to this, any of these buttons here, any of this here. Um, maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you can, but I haven't, you know, ever figured out a way to do it. So uh, I think, Honestly, we're going to, I'm going to like slowly, we're going to, I'm just going to record me moving this knob versus putting in a, um, putting in the automation. So let's see. Make it. You can take it if you wanna, if you wanna, you can take it, take it. That shit should have been recorded. You can make it, make it. You can take it if you wanna, if you wanna, you can take it, take it. There we go. All right, so we got that recorded in there. Whoops. You can make it, make it. You can take it if you want. You can go. take it if you wanna, if you wanna, you can take it. Okay, so we got that, and then um, one thing I think I'm going to do is you can take this. 
so one thing I'm going to do is actually, I don't, I want to, I'm going to make a reverb automation on this pluck, but I don't want the reverb on the sound the whole time. So we're actually going to uh, kind of side chain it to a reverb over on the side. So, okay. Okay, so. So this is how it's gonna sound when it automates all the way up. So we're, I'm gonna fuck with that a little bit. Cause I want it to, I want it to get big, you know. And then they also do have some presets here. We can see like what dark room. Or like, uh, I just want something kind of big, you know? Corridor. Not corridor, let's do main. Fuck with that. That's big. That's big. I like that. So there's going to need to be a few different knobs going on this automation. These two for sure. Okay, so not these two. Just the wet. The wet knob, the decay knob for sure. Um, I believe if I go here browse parameters and then if I so you know then I just go and find the knob so this is gonna be one and the decay time is going to be one for sure create automation clip and so these are the two so these so these are gonna be already dialed into whatever um, these are going to be dialed into whatever. So this the wet's already going to be down and the decay is going to be up there. So that being said, we know that the wet needs to be up 100% by the end of it. Um, so let's just go in right here. And we're going to kind of do a similar thing. So I'm going to copy this and actually paste it here and then just uh you know move that down there whoops and take this and move it here and now you see how it got so you see how it got hella big like that now when the beat comes in, it's going to be that, I'm pretty sure it's still going to be that way, right? And we don't want that. We want that to go away. So how we're going to counteract that is just right afterwards, put it right back down. Same thing with this. Put it right back down. Come out here, wherever the end of that is, and just and we can just shorten that too if we want to. And so we have we've got that. So we so we've basically got two out of the three things that I kind of wanted to do for this riser part. Um, the third thing we're gonna do is go into here and uh, we're gonna actually use some of these vocals. So then we're also going to go in here and uh, edit sample. So this is a little this is like a cool thing you can do with literally any fucking sound any sample you got that you can edit you can do this and it's super quick and it's super cool so you can just basically you take a clip the in this instance is vocals right we only need a little bit we don't need a shit ton of vocals for what we're about to do so i just want this little i just want this right here let me see if i can get it make it that's all that i want is that right there so we take all this, cut it, take all this and cut it, 
Okay. Now we just have this. So we just have. Make it. We just have that. So what we're going to do is go, uh, go to your wrench, hit reverse, go to your wrench again. Fucker, go to your wrench again and hit the reverb button. If you're, if your dry knobs all the way up here, bring it all the way down. Keep your wet all the way up. Hit accept. Then go to your wrench and reverse it again. Okay. Now, when you pull this out, you now it's a riser. This is now like a reverb reverse riser thing. So then now we just click that. It drags it here. And now we've got a little um, riser action that's going to go on here. So let me just kind of get this fitted right because I, I don't want this to come. I want the, Yeah, I want it to swell up and then stop right there. And um, another thing that you can do is you can just go here. And then you can make this unique as sample, save it wherever you want, and then go here. And if you reverse this, now when these meet, um, when these meet up, this will just, it'll, you know, do like a whoosh, like it'll reverse the, you know, the sound. So it'll be like a, um, down riser instead of what the fuck did my just why did my lights go out like that what the fuck bring this down see what i'm saying and then we're actually i don't like that there but we're i just did it for an example so now it's so now this was our this was it without all this okay you can take it if you wanna if you wanna you can take it take it It's something, right? But now this is it with everything. You can take it if you wanna, if you wanna, you can take it. Take it. That shit. That shit created a whole, like... It, I I love that. That was that was fire. So, um, you know, that's that's my little transition automation uh, riser tutorial and tips there, tips and tutorials, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, that's just that's just things that I like to do that are quick and easy, but really really effective and super like cool to add to your track. So, um. Yeah, that's it, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Um, let me know what to make next. Let me know, you know, if you want a full in-depth breakdown of this track or this beat. Let me know. Yeah, let me know. Comment down below, motherfuckers. I am out.